oh boy, it came today in the mail. I'm getting ready to open it. My Philofarm switch, which includes the Philoprint. And it's going to go right over here on my TiVo Tornado. The bed is all clean and ready. No more glue stick and I haven't done the painter's tape in a long time. By the way, I just did print this off Thingiverse, the uh, spool holders. Because one of my colors I got This one here, I love the green, but the spool is a quarter inch bigger than the hatch box. So my old spool holder wouldn't uh, take it, so now I can put it on there. I love that color though. It's got a beautiful red and green I got. Okay, let's open up the package here, and I'll be right back. Okay, we got it out of the box. Got to tape pretty good. <laughs> Feels heavy. Shipping weight said only two pounds though. And more tape. Oh, cool. Okay. English and German. I'm going to read the instructions and then I'll come back to you. So we'll see you in a little bit. We have three pieces here. This brown piece and it has a peel off tape on the back. We have this metal plate. It's bare metal on both sides. And we have this magnetic material, which I believe is the print surface. So now this uh, plate with the 3M tape. I believe sticks to the metal plate. And then we'll go for the next step. Okay, we have one sparkling clean Kivo Tornado print bed. Nice brownish colored glass. I have been using glue sticks. I tried painter's tape that likes to come off on the bottom of your prints. But somebody said to soak it in water because painter's tape is water. It's paper. Now, the glue stick is okay, but you got to clean it. So, I got my Philofarm Philoprint sheet. This is called the switch. What it is is a magnet and a metal plate and the Philoprint print base. What we need to do now is to take the yellow sticky off the magnet and we're going to pull her off just about halfway here and I'm going to make a little fold so I can get this thing set where I want to set it center it and 
mill plate as best we can. Three hands. <laughs> oh well, okay. Got my own Budapest hungry <laughs> casino card when I was there. <laughs> Makes a perfect squeegee. And we'll let that set for a little bit. <coughs> we have the metal plate, which has already got my fingerprints on it, so we'll have to clean that. The metal plate goes down on the magnet. Plop. What's going to happen is then, hospital gloves on because it says plainly don't ever touch the filler print surface with your fingers or any other item that may leave greasy film. Now we're going to put these on so I can show you and we're going to take them off clean that metal plate up a little bit I think there's a video on YouTube that actually shows the installation of the switch. <coughs> this is the filler print surface, which already has fingerprints. A little water is going to take that off. This is the 3M surface, which is actually going to stick to the metal pad. metal plate. And we will do that elsewhere in the dining room where I have some table room <coughs> as to not push down on the bed and the springs. So then we have to season it, which I'll show you. And then we can make our first test print, which we'll go over when the print is finished, you'll lift it up by these little tabs. Take it off. When it cools, then your build will pop right off. Okay. Now we got our fingerprints off of that. We have our 3M sheet folded a little bit half back. And we're going to...
Yeah. You don't want you over there. Well, now we'll get a little damp towel and uh, push it down. Okay, it says now press down. With a kitchen cloth until center outwards so the light spots disappear. Okay. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Okay, so now <clears throat> go back around. <clears throat> Over to the printer. And we'll set this on there. And we'll get ready to season it, I guess. <clears throat> Step two, conditioning. You must condition the fill of print before the first print. Moisten kitchen paper or paper towel, kitchen cloth with water. Cover the fill of print bed completely with the moist cloth. Heat the print bed to 95 to 100 degrees centigrade, Celsius centigrade. Retain this temperature for 10 to 15 minutes. Then we will make our first print, which we need to have the nozzle a little bit higher than normal, and then lower it in steps. That's some heavy duty paper shop towels. Moistened up. And cut. Temperature, the bed, we'll go to a hundred because so that the top should then be at least <clears throat> and we'll just let her heat up. Again, here we
Okay, it's been a little over 15 minutes at supposedly 100 degrees C. I'm going to shut her down, let her cool off, and then we'll level the bed again and uh, attempt to make our first print, which we'll video. See you later. Okay, we got the bed leveled. Paper. Nice and easy. Okay, so we have the bed all leveled and set up, and we're going to do a little printing. Well, it took me quite a while to get the bed leveled. Nozzle was way too high, and I lowered a little bit, lowered a little bit. Kept getting stringy, stringy, stringy. In fact, first. First try. Second try, third try. Fourth try. Well, I got that bed level good. We seem to be getting good print here. What that's going to be is one of these. Not proper for a first print, but hey, it's working. There's my new TiVo top of the box control arm spool holder. There we go. Well, I hope this helps you getting the fill a farm switch with the fill a print instead of the boards and glass. That's how you put it together. Almost four hours into a five and a half hour print using my new TiVo Tornado spool holder that I printed off Fingerverse. You'll see a link for that with a one inch PVC pipe working real nice. And my very first print on the Philippine Phila print switch. Probably not the best choice for a first print, but actually it's my second because the first one was all messed up because the nozzle was too high. It took me about three chances to get that nozzle down and get the bed level right, but it looks like she's going to come out right. She's still holding. I'm quite happy with the Philip Farm switch with the Philip print surface. If you buy the switch, you get your choice, I believe, of two different surfaces. What I understand is the uh, fellow prints the better one, but I think the glass is available for a certain uh, printer. So I'm quite happy, and I believe this is the only video on YouTube about setting up the Philofarm switch. So enjoy. Any questions? PM me or leave a comment. Thank you. Oh, thumbs up. I like that. I don't get many. Okay, bye-bye. Well, it happened just like the Phila Farm folks said in Germany. Just like on their short video that they have on YouTube. Finally got the bed leveled. Printed the first uh, one. It got done about four or five hours. I pulled the magnetic base off, set it in an area where it wouldn't burn nothing. I heard some cracking, which is supposed to be. The boat fell right off. I put the bed down, wiped it with a little clean tissue, 
and here's my skirt for my 3D business cards, my litho paints. I didn't have to level the bed, I didn't have to wash the glue stick off. This is beautiful. Look at that skirt. Perfect all the way around. I'm really happy with this. Well worth the money. Okay, now I gotta get the video up. 